again, come up again, then I would go down into the water and I had the sensation that I was going to drown and it was frightening and suffocating. My clothes were dragging me back. It was all around me, this water. I didn't like it. And I began to feel very frightened go down and down and down. My clothes were dragging me back. It was very dark and very deep. The sea is very deep. I seem to be drowning. I am going to drown. And I thought, well, it's no use trying to think I'm not uh, going to drown. I am going to drown. Frightening and suffocating. No reflection in the water. I was in the water. And it was a feeling as though the water was coming towards me. And I began to feel very frightened. And being that I can't swim and afraid of water, it seemed a greater fear. And then I would go down into the water and the sea seemed vast and there weren't many waves. It wasn't a stormy sea, but it was a frightening sea. And they were sort of bluey colours, bluey greeny colours. And it was all colours like the rainbows if there was a light shining behind it. And then I would shout and say, I won't do it, I won't do it. And I would surface again. I saw a cloud of spray rising high up into the air and it was all colours like the rainbow as if there was a light shining behind it. I saw a cloud of spray and I had the sensation that I was going to drown and I would surface again and I would start to drown again and I would surface again come up again. Then I would go down into the water and I had the sensation that I was going to drown and it was frightening and suffocating. It was all around me, this water. I didn't like it. And I began to feel very frightened. I must tell my mother. All I can remember is falling into the water it was very dark and falling down, down, down. It was very dark and very deep. I seemed to be drowning. I must tell my mother. My clothes were dragging me back. The sea is very deep. I go into the sea and then... I go right down to the bottom and there's some land there. The land at the bottom of the sea. It's very still, it's flat. No reflection of the water. Lovely clear water. The water. 
water looked to be rather sort of bluey. I didn't like it. And suddenly all this water became full of other people and other things all falling. Full of other people and other things all falling. All going downwards the same as I was. And chairs and tables and things like this. And all these people were all floating downwards through this water. Chairs and tables and things like this. And I put my arms up and tried to catch hold of them. And I began to feel very frightened. I was in the water. And it was a feeling as though the water was coming towards me. And being that I can't swim and afraid of water, it seemed a greater fear. And as I sort of pushed back, and I felt I was pushing back the water, so I felt the mud in my hands. And then I seemed to be clear the mud, which was really saturated with water. And as I pushed and pushed, so I came across something, and I was still pushing, and I knew it was somebody. And I felt them. I could feel the shoulders, then the face. And then I could feel this tin hat. And as I pushed the hat one side, the helmet one side, so I could see my youngest brother's face. And then I felt him, knowing a little about first aid and that, I felt him and felt down the body. And as I got to the hip, he more or less shattered and I could see by his face that he was in pain, even though he had the mud and stuff on it. I pushed the hat back, and I thought to myself, I knew he's safe. He's alive. I must tell my mother. He just wasn't, because he was dead. He looked like him, but he just wasn't, because he was dead. I just walked towards him. I just picked him up. And he wasn't any more. And I couldn't think he was my baby. He looked like him, but he just wasn't because he was dead. I go into the sea, and then I go right down to the bottom, and there is some land there. I always die on the land. The land at the bottom of the sea. 